Hello everyone, Flash Notion here, back for another My Little Pony reaction video. I'm a little bit sooner on this one, I think. Uh, I don't know when it's going to be coming out, because of copyright bullcrap, but as far as recording-wise, I'm getting to this one pretty quickly. So we are on Season 9, Episode 12, entitled The Last Crusade, and if I wasn't able to guess what this one would be about. I'd be a freaking moron. This is very obviously the CMC episode of the season. Their last crusade. This is the last CMC episode we're probably ever going to get. They, they, the characters might appear in other episodes, but this is going to be the last one focused on them as the CMC. As the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Which... I mean, yeah, last season, obviously, we have to have one about them. Now, I would love it if this was also an Indiana Jones reference, and they brought in Daring Do for it, and yeah, that would just, excuse me, that would just be fantastic as far as, you know, episode ideas go, but <laughs> something tells me they're just going with it as the title. So who knows, they might not have even thought of the Indiana Jones thing until afterwards, so... <laughs> I, uh, stranger things have happened. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, now, if I had to guess as far as what it means by the Last Crusade, like, in-universe-wise, like, the CMCs can't break up, can they? Because, like, they've already established that, no, it's their destiny to be together and to be, um, like... Like this, the, uh, helping other ponies with their key marks forever. Like, that's their destiny is to be the key mark crusaders forever. <laughs> and they went ahead and they said to the Man Manhattan branch, you know, you, you can't kick people out just for uh, getting their key marks and whatnot. I don't know. Like, we spent the last three seasons before this building them up to be this force for good, these counselor ponies who are helping like this, and... Last season, we had them basically brought on as tutors for Twilight School. So, like, I don't know what it could mean as far as the Last Crusade in-universe. I, I really don't want them to break up the group. Maybe... Like, it can't be a flashback, really, because we saw them get their key marks. We saw all the efforts there. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. Man. Yeah, I, I don't really have any ideas, but every idea I can think of, it keeps coming back to the idea of one of them moving, one of them or more of them moving away and not being able to do stuff together anymore. And that's just heartbreaking. Like, I know it happens in real life that friends move away and they grow apart and they can't, they can't do stuff together anymore, and freaking DWK twisted ep uh, season six, episode four, to be all about that. And I mean, it's a good lesson there, but like, man, I don't want to watch that. I want the I want to live with the illusion that after this show is over, the CMCs are going to grow old together in Ponyville, and they're going to be best friends forever, and no, nothing's ever going to take that away. <laughs> Like, seriously, I know that they can't remain static, but that doesn't mean that you have to break them apart. <sighs> I don't know. Hopefully this episode doesn't break my heart. Uh, so, yeah, let's just, let's just get into it and see what they throw our way. Starting in three, two, one, play. Um... Okay. Somebody's needing some help. Um, hi, Scootaloo. We haven't been to your house since season... Oh! We're actually seeing it. Oh, right, Skedaddle. He was in, um... First I tried sailing, like you said. Next I tried fishing, like you said. Then I tried rowing, like you said. But my oar broke. So I used my fishing line to tie it back together. And I got my cutie bird! And he really... Ah, I can't wait to tell every pony! <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, how exciting. You three 
truly have a gift so oh this is our uh holiday scootaloo's aunts of course you can you encourage that cult to try new things and because you all those ants were actually confirmed to be a couple that kind of help back in uh come on auntie lofty you already have your cutie mark a lot of good it does me i can't decide what theme to give this quilt i'm out of inspiration go talk to rarity or cotton candy or ballet what about a wonderful quilt see leave it to you three to come up with that's me no wash out in a year now that's talent. Eh. Um. Goodness, we better get going or we'll miss our train home. I left you plenty of healthy food for the weekend. And I left you cookies. <laughs> <gasps> the cakes will stay with you tonight. Then ready and Rainbow Dash after that. Oh. Remember, we're just a few stops from Ponyville if you need us. She knows how So holiday. we're addressing Scootaloo's home issues. Bye. Huh. And they're the ones that primarily take care of her. I know. I just wish they lived closer. No pony bakes like Auntie Lofty. Don't want the cakes here you say that. They're coming home today! Okay. I'm pretty sure that's gonna blow some fan people's minds because obviously the prevailing theory was that Scootaloo was an orphan. So, I kind of knew this was coming, but I was, I, I wasn't sure, again, like, this was one of those things where I saw it, and I wasn't sure if it was real. Like, the ants, I've heard, were in one of, like, uh, the chapter books that they have for the kids, and that caused, like, a minor little thing, or it's just like, oh, yeah, her ants are a same-sex couple, and uh, they didn't confirm it um, explicitly. I mean, they still didn't confirm it here because it could be like they're two different Today, ants on two, like, different sides. Oh, dear. Every pony is in their seats. Scootaloo. Just. The factory specializes <laughs> in star, rain, sunshine, and... By Nicole de Bach. Scootaloo, may I help you? She's uh, written a couple of other things before. Just She's notice your pretty... Notice needed dusting. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> off on the lesson until after lunch how about show and tell does any pony have any my parents are coming home to ponyville today how long's it been since they were last in ponyville they don't live here nope their jobs are way too important for that okay to the farthest most dangerous places in equestria to study unknown plants and fierce creatures okay they learn helps ponies but they're not medicine. supportive of you but it's too because of I'm, I'm thinking back to the this sounds like something you're making up or that they made up to it, it really does sound like some tricksy level boasting right there what the fuck Cragadile? Why the fuck is there a crocodile in the classroom? Easy there, marshmallow. Time you were in your crate for your nap. More Australian ponies. And that means now, mister. So, her parents are basically the secret Saturdays? <laughs> Oh, they seem nice enough. Still think she's making it all up? Nope. Her parents are awesome. But then how does that explain uh Snap Shutter and Main All Good? Sorry to make such an entrance. Just brought back a few mates from our last adventure. We couldn't wait another month. Seriously, what what episode was that? I hope we didn't interrupt anything. I Sure it's just like I dismissed. I need to um, clean up a little bit now. <laughs> Seriously, though, episode. As tall as me now, Scoot. No. Seriously, what the fuck was that episode? Was it Parental Guidance? I think it was. And read them 
20 times, but they're never but then, the real thing. Why? It's so good to see you. I'm so confused here. We celebrate with ice cream sundays. They seem they loving and supportive ice. and Why don't you all come? Our treat. Perfectly happy to have a daughter. So like how does this Seriously, how does this mix? Also, <laughs> that guy's out of a job now. She might even let us hey. teach a class. Good on cool. you, Scoot. What an honor. I can give you a tour of the school if you want. I mean, if you're staying for a while this time. Oh, you'll be seeing plenty of us. Oh? Really? Mm -hmm. Because we've taken a new job assignment that will let all of us live together. I can't believe it! That's all Oh! They're going to take her away from Ponyville. We never planned to be away for so long in the first place. We just kept discovering things that could help Equestria. And no pony else had the experience to finish our job. But with all that's happened lately, Sombra's return, the destruction of the Tree of Harmony, we decided our family should be together. Or... Aww. This is the best day of my life! We'll stay in town for the weekend, so you can pack your things. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. So... Hell no! Wait, is that Sri Lanka? Is that what they're basically? You can come back and visit them, or they could take the train to us. There's one every month. What's good to look can't leave? We've been together our whole lives. No, you haven't. But close enough. Pony, but it'll be a good change. Give it time. You'll see. The only thing I see is the end of the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Aww. <laughs> no. Seriously though, what the fuck is up with this? This doesn't mesh with the background that we had of her and parents before. Ever cutie Mark Crusader meeting to order. First item of business. Cry! Wow. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but also <laughs> I love the snapshot of Babs back there just being like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> It won't be the same. Maybe you can find a replacement for me. No, we can't. Oh my god. You. Nothing's gonna be Aww. the same. Who's gonna ride their scooter ahead of us everywhere we go? I love how they have a bowl of candy there for their guests. Or go camping with us. Or just hang out with us. Well, it's worse for Aww. me. Who just got three front row tickets to the Wonderful Show next week? <laughs> and she has to say goodbye to Rainbow. I mean, Rainbow can be there a lot faster than them, but. The reaction I was expecting. Thanks for the tickets, Rainbow Dash, but I can't go. Her parents are making her move super far away from Ponyville. What? No way. Scootaloo belongs here. Is Rainbow going to uh, help address the issue here that I'm seeing? Like seriously, this is. Major continuity issue if they don't address it. I cannot believe you're giving up so easily. You're the cutie mark crusaders. <laughs> yeah. Is what you do. But I don't know how they're going to solve this one. Are pretty good at coming up I mean, unless they're just like, Mom, Dad, we're tough enough to... Well, no, they're really not, because they were totally brainwashed by Sombra, but... Last crusade. The crusade is to keep... Scootaloo in Ponyville. That's awesome. What if we get them a job here instead? Yeah. I mean, that would be... Yeah, why not? Like, there's plenty of dangerous stuff in the Everfree Forest, and... Dad knows all about those. And cockatrices and bugbears. Oh. They only study super rare animals. Then maybe we need to give them an animal no pony's ever heard of. Uh, then how would we hear about it? Because we're making it up. Oh my god. Where'd, where'd Rainbow Dash go in that scene? Uh, <laughs> there she is. Want these tickets, or... <laughs> that was perfect. This is what I wanted to show you. The tracks of the mysterious summer free banshee beast. Hmm. They're like nothing I've ever seen. Oh Imagine my god. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> and it's super dangerous if you get close. If only some pony could prove it exists. Hmm. Easy enough. We'll follow the spool. Oh my god. I think I 
heard something this way. Wow. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> so the plan is what the fuck? Richer, then we had again, right? Sweetie, I thought your magic was better than that by now. Yeah, because they're trying to catch you. Not to... Uh... And... Tear. Yeah, no. I gotta come clean right away? <laughs> Guess you solved the mystery. We'd better get back. There's a lot to get ready before the house goes up for sale tomorrow. Hmm. So is that the issue? Is that they never listen to her ideas? Like, they they care about her, obviously, but they don't let her have any input? We just gotta show your parents we're a set of three. Then they'll have to let you stay here with us. <laughs> or maybe they'll try and take you with them. <laughs> Ooh. Don't ruin the photos! Don't ruin the darkroom photos. Aw. Good. Are these yours? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dad. We're sending them to the Pony Book of Records. We're the only three ponies in Equestria yeah. with the same cutie mark. The chance well, that mostly is the so same. Rare. It means we belong together forever. Yeah, but you don't have the same cutie mark. They're close enough. Uh, sure we do. Look. Well, this part is the same, but the picture inside each of these is different. Yeah. I think it means you'll stay best friends no matter where you go. And that's really special. Huh. <laughs> wow. How do you argue with that? Yeah, I mean, it's true. <laughs> I love how there's a picture of shipping Big Mac and Shirley there. Even though he's basically already in a relation. What the fuck is that? Prune juice? It's a potion I mixed up from Zakora's book. Prune is only one of the ingredients. What's it do? Mm, is it a laxative? <laughs> Please depend. Any separation, mend. Friends together till the end. We just gotta dab a little on our hooves. Sounds perfect, right? Sounds like super glue. Is something supposed to happen? There. <laughs> Is this the something that's supposed to happen? Apparently. I didn't really say. This is why you don't just <laughs> dabble with trying apple bloom. potions. I might as well face it. I'm gonna have to leave Ponyville. If you even can now, this physically. Blue, this just gave me an even better idea how to keep you here. Come on! <laughs> Freaking twelve-legged race there. You better see Zakora about fixing this first. You think? <laughs> oh, one more day. Um, excuse me? Really? A chain protest? Scootaloo, I know you're having fun with your friends, but we need to get all our things to the station. We can't miss <sighs> the It's the only one for a month. Then you'll just have to go without me. Ooh, finally standing up to them, putting her foot down. We are chained to this boat. And nothing and no pony is going to move us. No matter. Eh. Aww. Well, she stood up. We just sold the house, Scoot. I know this is hard to accept, but just... It's more than hard! It's not fair! You're making me pick between my family and my friends! Oh, Scootaloo, moving away won't hmm. stop you three from caring about each other. Why don't you sleep over with Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom tonight? It'll give you a chance to say a real goodbye. But I don't want to say goodbye! You're changing my whole life without even asking how I That's the part that <laughs> makes it hard for her with them. Is that they don't consider her feelings in what they do. Even though they care, they don't really consider it from her point of view. my parents. There is another train to Shire Lanco for a month. If I'm not on it, they'll have to go without me. So she's going somewhere else. <laughs> wow. Are you sure? I don't want to get you in trouble. Very yeah. happy, man. Applejack neither. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> their sisters basically are just like, don't get in trouble, and we don't really give a shit. <laughs> we are the best together. 
<laughs> and here we go. Oh, where are they going? This is, looks nice. They're going to her aunt's place, aren't they? Yep. Scootaloo! What a nice surprise. And I've got a surprise for you. She made a blanket with all those things together? Yep. Me to finish my quilt. <laughs> Big Mac. Cutie Mark oh! Themed. We love hearing stories oh! About Big Mac, a so Tender Taps, Diamond Tiara and, and Silver it Spoon. <sighs> it's still a um, Oh, Bab Seed. Uh, I didn't know about the other ones. Mom and Dad are back, and they're making me move to Shire Lanka with them. Snap and mine are back? They didn't tell me that. Oh, I think the male pony delivered your letter to my house. <laughs> I love my family, but I love being with my friends, too. <laughs> I don't want to have to choose. Well, then why don't your parents just stay in Ponyville? Their job is too important. That's it! Is this hmm. another potion idea? <laughs> no. Scootaloo's parents are the only ponies in Equestria that can do what they do, right? Yeah. Right? Well, so are we! Our cutie marks prove it! Yeah! Our job is to help other ponies find their purpose! And no Ooh, pony that was a nice shot right there. So if my parents split us up, it'd be just as bad as them quitting their jobs! <laughs> now you actually have to tell them that. Explain that to them. Oh, you don't have to explain it. They will. Really? Feeling better, Scootaloo? Not really, Little. but... <laughs> I just want to show you something before we go. All right. Now let's make it swift. That train won't wait. Hmm... Sweet Celestia slippers. What is all this? The whole town's coming together to celebrate them and what they are and what they do. Oh my god. This is amazing. <laughs> Even Big Mac's chanting. Not 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 a freaking uh Starlight though. She's just like, I'll stay quiet. Share a rare ability to help others find their true purpose. It's a job only they can do, and only together. That sounds familiar. <laughs> all they have done, and continue to do for the ponies of this town, I would like to present the Cutie Mark Crusaders with a three-handled key to the city. Wow. <laughs> nice award there. And they got even the Wonderbolts to come in and help. Dang! That's awesome! A Wonderbolt salute! Oh, I'm not sure you know just how important Scootaloo and her friends are, little brother. Babseed! She's there! The CMCs used their free time to set up a camp to help us Blank Blanks find our kids! Aw, they all got them! The cutie marker says Wait, where's the circle girl? <laughs> Calicorn or whatever her name was. Themselves. Well, I'll be a three-tailed bandicoot. I had no uh. idea how important Scoot's club was. It's not just a club. Way more than just a club. The CMCs have made a difference for It's basically an organization now. They have a Manhattan branch. They help every creature. Hello, Gabby! Whether it's encouraging others to discover their special talent. Tender taps? Or inspiring them to do what's in their Hello? Aw, nine tiaras. And still Babs is just like... I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> no way! After all that, you're still. Oh, hey, trouble shoes. We just want what's best. Zipper will. And until now, we thought we knew what that was. Turns out you're just like us, Scoot. You have an important job <laughs> that only you can do. Ah. And it helps all of Equestria. Hmm. Sometimes that means missing out on other things you love, like watching our daughter grow into a pony we're very proud of. Yeah, if they'd been there this whole time, they might understand a little bit more before this, but... We understand. Where's she gonna stay, though? Like, you literally sold their house. Thanks, Dad! Thanks, Mom! Aww. Sorry we didn't realize it sooner. Our work is our life's purpose. We could never quit, so there's no way we hmm. can ask you to do the same. 
Maybe you should have thought of that before you sold the house. <laughs> Lofty, don't tease my brother. We already have a solution worked out. Oh, we do? <laughs> Since the CMCs make Ponyville such a nice place, we've decided to move here. You can oh. with us, good Lou. If you okay. Like, that would be amazing. <gasps> okay. Will still come and visit? Of course. Rabbit bugbears couldn't keep us away. I do love the hats. You got to stay here. You got to stay here. You got to stay here. Okay. <laughs> uh, Adorable. Well, you are staying here, right? Are you kidding? Like I'm like like she's going to change her mind now. Went through all that effort. Ah. Okay. That was interesting. All right, let's let's start jumping through the hoops here. Okay, 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 okay. Seriously, long long ending song always. Well, it's just a little teensy bit shorter, but we finish it up and done. Okay, so first and foremost, of course, is. The major questions that I kind of now have regarding parental guidance. Where Scootaloo straight up said to Rainbow Dash that no one was ever there for her in the way that Rainbow Dash's parents were for her. Now, I guess she means that somewhat more literally than we met, met or thought. Not in the sense that her parents weren't there for her emotionally or supportive of her. It's just that they were literally never there because of their job. And she, Scootaloo understands that, but obviously, you know, them not being there, no matter how much they care, it's going to leave a bit of a hole in her heart there, which, thankfully, Rainbow and her parents are able to fill. But, yeah, that, that does seem like a bit of a... A bit of them realizing, oh, shit, we kind of now implied that Scootaloo is you know, this, living this very horrible life, and we kind of don't want to, uh, make that an actual thing, so let's, let's backtrack a little bit, and let's have, have it be that she's got these cool parents that are just off some, off doing some other thing, which is kind of like what they were going to do with the Apple family at one point. At one point, there was this story going around where it was like, oh, the Apple parents are like seed peddlers, and they're off traveling around Equestria doing stuff with seeds, and that's why they aren't, they aren't there. But by now, we are very much aware that, uh, no, the Apple parents are gone. <laughs> um, but in the case of Scootaloo... We never actually, you know, said that she didn't have parents. Um, and season four, uh, Flight to the Finish, we did see the house where Scootaloo lived, or at least her bedroom. So we knew that Scootaloo had some sort of... Like, she wasn't a street orphan or anything like that. But even so, the common thing has been that, well, she is an orphan of some kind, and... Yeah, uh, potentially abused. But obviously that's not the case. Her parents are distant and they don't necessarily listen to her, but they do care, which just ends up feeling... Well, it, it ends up making parental guides a little bit weird in hindsight. And it probably if I were to watch that now after watching this... I feel like parental guidance would feel a little bit hollow and make Scoots come across a little bit more like kind of an asshole, <laughs> just to just to be frank there. Um, it really does feel like that one... It, it, it brings that episode down, even though I like this episode. Um, I would say it's not... Uh, looking at the rankings list that I've now started compiling... Overall, I'm probably going to put this episode below... Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going way down, actually. It's going ju it's going between Uprooted and Common Ground, which means it's in seventh place overall. Not counting the premiere, which is completely separate. So, 
yeah, that's um, that's actually pretty bad for this season. It's still a good episode. It's just, yeah, pretty low compared to a lot of the other ones in terms of... Um, see, that's the thing, though. Like, I'm not sure. I mean, Common Ground, you have Pat Oswalt there, and I love his character, and I love what they did with um, Windsprint. And, uh, forget where her name was, but very nice lady that is Quill Pants' girlfriend. And then we had Sweet and Smoky, which I really liked. And Twilight 7 was amazing, of course. And then Student Council, which was hilariously awesome. And then Going to See, which I personally still really love. And I love the episode's uh, moral for it. And then, of course, Frenemies, which is just about one of the best things ever. So... Yeah, okay, it's it's down there, but in terms of the quality of the episode, it's not an indicator of the quality of the episode or how much I enjoyed it. Rather, it's an indicator of just how good this season has been that I can't put it above anything that's come before it. <laughs> so, yeah, and then there's the fact that, yeah, going back to Parental Clients, there was some stuff in that episode that made it not sit so well with a lot of people. So even though this episode is bringing down parental guidance a little bit in hindsight, that's really just kind of reaffirming that that episode wasn't the best episode. So, yeah. Um, as for other things for this episode, I mean, all of the callbacks and the little cameos at the end especially. Also, I have to wonder if they didn't... Um, just get Tara Maher's voice actor in, in and decide, oh yeah, while we have you here, can you record this extra line for the next episode? <laughs> um, because that's kind of what it felt like there. He's just there for one line, but they managed to get him in there. I understand why they wouldn't have brought in like Gabby's voice actress or uh, Diamond Tiara's, even though I really want a Diamond Tiara episode before the show ends. Or at least a short something doing with her because, come on. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> I just, I keep going back to Bab Seed and the fact that, like, her picture on the wall it just has her looking like, wait, what? What just happened? <laughs> and her part at the finale just had her be like, can I go now? I don't really know what I'm doing here. Like, seriously, Bab Seed. <laughs> they should have done more with her. Uh, but, um, yeah, just, they went back over pretty much every person that the CMC has ever, or person, pony that the CMC have ever helped, and how, and that quilt was pretty good, though I didn't understand every square of it, and, yeah, uh, just all that stuff was great. This really did feel like a cap on the CMC story as far as, like, here's where they've been, this is everything, it, it makes a nice companion piece to uh, the Season 5 episode there. Where it's like, Season 5 is a hallmark of how far they had gone up until that point, And it was, you know, sending them in a completely new direction. This one is basically like, here's what we've done since then. And we're going to continue to do that, but even more so in the future. We're going to be independent and outreaching, and we're going to be awesome at what we do. <laughs> Now, I'm sure there's some negative stuff that can be taken away from it, but I'm not going to focus on that. Instead, I'm just going to switch over, and I'm going to talk about uh, the ants. Ants, however you want to pronounce it. Um, yeah, I mean... I knew about them a little bit, but, like... Man, I don't know. It, it, it seems very obvious when you look at it that they are a couple, but... They left it just vague enough that somebody who doesn't want that to be a thing for whatever fucking reason can look at it and say, oh no, uh, the one is the ant on the mother's side. You know? Like, they, they can do that if they really want to, and it's stupid, but whatever. Just whatever. <sighs> people gonna be people. Which means that some of them are going to be assholes. So yeah. I want to talk more though. And I don't know what to talk about because... Like, this was... 
pretty straightforward of an episode as far as everything goes, except for that little continuity error there. I do like seeing more Australian ponies, though. As a counterpart to um, to the washouts... Was it last season? Was it last season? It was. Right, so in the washouts last season, we had Rolling Thunder, an Australian pony, who I immediately declared the most awesome pony in the show. Sorry, Rainbow Dash, but you don't have an Australian accent. <laughs> um, but now... We have more Australian ponies. We have Skulu's father, whose name I didn't catch, and also her aunt. One of them had a little bit of an Australian accent to her because, you know, she's his sister. Um, And I find that pretty cool because it kind of, in hindsight, tells me that one of... As part of Scootaloo's attraction to the washouts, uh, she might have looked at Rolling Thunder and been like, Wow, that pony sounds like my dad! Who I love and who is awesome. So that's kind of cool. And it also, like the way that her uh, dad was acting with the crocodile. Steve Irwin, you got to have that reference. It, it's it's the crocodile hunter. Crocodile hunter. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's great. But no, uh, the way that she was describing her parents um, very much reminded me of the show The Secret Saturdays. Now, I was never big into that show. I was big into Ben 10, but not The Secret Saturdays. It was revealed in the fourth Ben 10 series, Omniverse, that The Secret Saturdays actually took place in the same universe as Ben 10, which is kind of cool, but it still never made me want to go back and watch The Secret Saturdays. However, I do know more or less what The Secret Saturdays is about. Basic gist of it is that there is... This family called the Sat, or their name is the Saturdays, and they hunt cryptids like Bigfoot type creatures. You know, these animals that exist on the fringes of science, where it's just like we they might exist because we know relatively little about the natural world compared to what we think we do. So it's like they might be out there, but there's no concrete evidence for it, and people are searching for it all the time. The Saturdays. They don't just hunt cryptids, though. They actually, when they find them, they help keep them safe from other people who would want to use them for more negative purposes. And their son, Zack, has these weird mystical powers, basically, and it's pretty cool. Um, Well, they all kind of have these semi-mystical abilities. Zack has something where he can, like, communicate with the cryptids in some way, and he also has this cool staff thing that acts like a grappling hook, and I think has a couple other abilities. Um, His mom has an awesome sword. His dad has these cool gauntlet things. Yeah, they live out of a massive blimp, which... And they also have two, two, like, pet cryptids, kind of. Um, Fiskerton... I believe is his name. And he's sort of a Yeti-like creature uh, who is basically Zack's brother. And then they have this pet... um, Oh, wait, no, it's three. It's three cryptids. Because they have this pet, like, uh, chameleon, Komodo dragon-looking thing that can turn invisible. And they also have a pterodactyl-like thing. So they all live together on this on the blimp zeppelin thing flying around hunting cryptids and generally saving the world being awesome <laughs> so yeah that's that's just what uh Scootaloo's parents remind me of um because they're going around doing awesome things being scientists but also like existing at the fringes where they investigate the rare stuff the stuff that there's not concrete evidence for the myths and legends of equestria I mean, heck yeah, that's cool. (laughs) And I'd kind of like to see more of that. (laughs) Um, who, Who really knows what all they've got there. And speaking of which, there was one thing, a cage that I saw towards the end. Uh, not there. Nope. Too, too far back. Uh, it was right... No, before that, when they were running away from the house. 
Was that a cockatrice? I think it might have been a cockatrice. Trees, whatever. Yep, that's a cockatrice in the cage. Why not? Just keep a caged cockatrice right there. <laughs> Can turn anyone into stone and it just happens to be passing by if it gets pissed off. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, I don't even put a blindfold over its eyes. Wow. Wow. So, yeah. Interesting all around. It kind of... It it really would have been interesting to have these, uh... To have Scootaloo's parents show up last episode when they were actually hunting cockatrices. So, that's kind of funny. But, um... Yeah, I think that's about everything for this one. I, uh... Can't ramble too much more, and there's other things I want to do, and I'm sure you guys want to leave by now if you haven't already clicked off the video. So I'm gonna call this one the this the end of uh, this episode. I look forward to next week's. I or if there's not gonna be next week's, uh, whenever the show comes back, because I don't know when the mid season finale of this season is. I don't know if it's if it was this one or if it's next week's or the one after that. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. We'll see. Until then, Flash Nelson signing off. I haven't said that in a while. <laughs>